Good evening. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let me just get uh, get that patched in. Dunk. So I no I noticed this was on Game Pass. Congratulations to the fastest hands in the West, by the way, Barley Parley. I noticed this was on Game Pass. 
and I figured I'd uh at least see if it runs on my computer. And when I ended up running very well on my computer, I decided to see if it would play nice with uh, all my streaming nonsense. And evidently, evidently, it works. Just get right in there. Actually, I, I'm going to turn the fucking lamp off. Because it's like this actively distracting me. Yeah, there we go. Tracking quality may take a hit. But uh, I'd rather not have like a bright light shining in my eye the entire night. Hell yeah, let's uh, move that a little closer so as to not uh, have to shout. Ooh. Uh, welcome aboard, Wildfang 8TY4. How are you this evening? Let me just do a quick check. That's not like... That's not, like, loud enough to blind you, is it? Kind of. Uh, I'm doing all right. Starting, uh, later than I usually do for Sundays because I was... Uh, managing my time poorly. And had to make dinner an hour later than initially planned. Here we go. I, I kind of like how this game just lets you decide, like, allows you to just play it like you're playing Goldeneye. For uh, added precision. Yeah, here we go. I spent uh, most of today just doing dishes, so it's kind of funny that I would, like, in my free time decide to just pick up a game uh, centered around also cleaning things. Oh man, if you're tired, you should probably uh, look into getting some sleep in. Here we go. Let's get right up close. If one hour could still change anything. Eh. I mean, the... The uh, longest nap you can take and still get energized with... Well, longest. I, I should say shortest you can take and still be energized with is, like, about between 20 and 40 minutes. But any amount of sleep, more than absolutely none, will, like, improve things significantly. Being a little rested is still better than being not rested at all. If that's your decision, then I can't really stop you from, uh, doing that. <laughs> uh, I hope you at least enjoy your time here, though. Let's get right in there. Let's take... ...that off and see if I can get... ...right in there. Ooh. 
There we go. Uh, I remember seeing earlier, uh, while I was just looking at the uh, page for this on Game Pass, there are like a couple uh, like DLC packs, including, uh, I believe I mentioned this a while ago, like a long time ago, uh, while my friend was doing the uh, Resident Evil 7 remake playthrough. Uh, like actual canon Resident Evil 7 remake content. Like John Powerwash, main character of Powerwash Simulator, actually goes to Midgar in the D in the DLC, and I think that's very funny. There we go. Let's check. All right. The other break disc. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Yep, here we go. I think most of the dirt is like loosened up enough to where I can just do this. Yeah, now we're talking. If I just find the right angle, I will eventually knock enough dirt loose to where I can just finish this. There we go. I appreciate how, uh, like, cathartic this game is. Let's see. Power washers. Can I get anything better? Ooh, that's 900 in-game dollars. A vast amount of wealth right there. Oh yeah, so the other night, I think it was last night or the night before. No, it was the night before because I was watching it in preparation for Saturday. Um, on Friday night, I uh, sat down and I decided to watch uh, Tetsuo the Iron Man. Because I realized, um, despite having previous opportunities to, I uh, never actually sat down and watched the damn thing. And it's uh, surprisingly decent. I believe I described it to my friends as a bisexual cinema. And the reason I say this, and uh, of course, spoilers for this ancient-ass Japanese movie from like the 80s, where a guy turns into metal. Uh, I say that because not only like does like the main character get pegged? Question mark. But also, <laughs> there's a part near the end where he uh like fuses with another guy who is also turning into metal into like a giant like penis car and one of them says word for word our love will destroy the universe god i don't know why but like the environments in this game are kind of uncanny. Like, look at this. Everything is clean except for just this. Awful evil. There's a... I... Oh, 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 no, no, no. I don't want to pick that up. Oh, that's actually cool. I turned on the dirt information um option earlier because I uh, didn't know what it would do. And apparently it just tells you what kind of dirt's on there. Yep. I meant to press E. 
Okay, so that's how you equip that. Oh, you, yeah, that's how you change that. Okay, I was wondering how. Equip a new outfit, gloves, and washer modification at the same time. Yippee! <laughs> what if I just do this? Hit C to enter, uh, like, Nintendo 64 aim. I'm standing too far away. We're going to need something more. There we go. All right, here we go. I appreciate how cathartic, like, simulator games, I suppose you could call them, are. Well, at least the ones that are made to be, like, you know, nice little job simulations. Uh, like this, or, uh, I think... What's another one? Um... Mechanic Simulator? That's one that exists, where you, like, work on cars. But, uh, they're very, like, relaxing, and I don't know why. Uh, I remember another one I, I've i seen a little about is, um... I believe it's called Gas Station Simulator, where you just run a little gas station. To an extent, I think this, uh, extends all the way down to, um... Even, um... Even Desert Bus can be considered, uh, like, cathartic. Because there's nothing really happening. You're just driving a little bus for eight hours straight. There we go. But, like, I, I can see the, like relaxation potential and just, you know, driving in a straight line for eight hours. Potentially more if you want to make a... if you want to go for a high score. How did this guy get mold on the outside of his house? That's what I want to know. What? What? There's a mold somewhere in here. I, s I swear on I swear to God I've seen it. I seen it. Oh yeah, I believe I made a post about this earlier, but um, I've been seeing a lot about a uh, a Doom mod, like for the old Doom, specifically uh patched up for um. GZ Doom or GZ Doom if you speak English correctly uh, called myhouse.pk3 I've seen some cited as a WAD it appears to just be a PK3 file and I'm thinking of giving that a try at some point like the only Im image I've seen is like a, uh, a normal looking house. And frankly, that just being the, uh, thumbnail, like the go-to thumbnail or title screen or whatever for a, um, Doom mod frightens me. Because I'm used to seeing all sorts of wacky, like, tech bases, mountains, caves, hell castles, all that stuff. But I've never just seen a normal house. And I'm wondering, how many monster closets are they going to dump into this, no like, normal suburban, like, $1,000 like, $1, rent home? 
Oh, that's a ball. I'm curious. It has physics. Oh, that's that's silly. That's goofy. I wonder. Yep. I don't need to use the stepping stool. I have this. All right. See. Just real quick. Just whoa. There we go. How they get dirt all the way in there? You know, it's outside. There's wind blowing all over the place. That's how they got dirt all the way in there. Hell yeah. Ugh. Let me just check. Yep, tracking hasn't died. I'm frankly shocked by this turn of events. Hang on, I'm getting distracted real quick. Uh, earlier, when I logged into um, Tumblr, just to check if anyone uh, has seen uh, a recent piece I did, I noticed I had received uh, a couple DMs. Fellas, it finally happened. A bot messaged me on Tumblr. <laughs> they used to do that shit all the time back in uh, the before times, you know, before they banned porn. Uh, now you never get uh, DMs from bots. It's, it's insane. It's unheard of. Ooh. Oh. I wonder if there's a way to, like, uh, change the, um, sound effect for completing a part. Because I will not lie, it spooks the shit out of me every time. There we go. That's the wrong one. Uh, actually, no, that's a decent choice, all things considered. I wonder if I go into uh, options, audio. Oh, okay. So if I just turn that down, let's uh let's complete something real quick. That window frame's already done. There we go. So that wall's all all dirty, but this one's mostly clean. Like am I missing am I missing like a little bit on it? Oh. Oh no, that's a post. Oh, there we go. Only 9% clean, and I've already made a couple hundred. Almost three. That is a vast amount of wealth. Oh, you can't, like, kill? You can't kill? Game sucks. Too peaceful. <laughs> Alright, that's not getting anything off. 
That's a little better. Yellow is just my go-to. Yep, here we go. I know you can probably get, um... A more even clean by going slower. But I want to get rid of the dirt fast. Even though it, like, affords me no benefit to do that. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right in the corner. So I'm thinking of, uh, starting to watch, um, Common Rider Ghost again soon. Because at some point I decide to, uh, watch it. And I remember liking it a whole lot. But the people I was watching it with, uh, eventually, like, uh, got a little too busy to, uh, pay attention to me. I know. Awful. Awful and terrible and they should be put to death. No, but, you know, it's whatever. So, uh, now that, um, the person I'm currently watching Colin Ryder with, uh, more often, uh, my sister has, uh, decided she wants to watch Ghost, I'm, uh, excited to see my silly boy again. Uh, Takaru from Ghost has immense silly boy energy. He's just a wacky, goofy little guy. All right, here we go. Yeah, this will work. Let's get a lower angle. Now we're talking. Shoutouts to them for putting in a, uh, aiming mode like this. It makes, uh, precision a little better. Even if it reminds me a little bit of, like, using the Wii remote to aim. Although, I could totally see this working with, like, motion controls. It's sort of like how the um, old Ghostbusters video game, the Wii version, is the best version for gameplay purposes. You guys remember when, like, they would make video games. And then the uh, versions for other consoles would legit just be different games. Why would they, why'd they stop doing that? That's, like, always fun. Like, you'd go to your friend who has, like, Call of Duty on, say, for example, the Nintendo Wii. And they'd swear up and down. Like, up, down, left, right, all over the place that it's, like, the best version. And you'd wonder why, and then it's like, oh, because you use the Wii remote. You aim and shoot, and getting headshots is really easy and really fun. But like, no, now every console and uh, even the computer ha have to all get the same game. Or else people uh, on Reddit will complain. I think that's despicable. Not because Redditors are involved. But because now, no fun is allowed.
Yeah, there we go. Like you... Like you think, oh, uh, I'm gonna get this on a Nintendo console because it's, uh, the same, but portable. And it's like, maybe I don't want the same thing, but it's portable. Maybe I want, like, you know, just a different version of the game. Like the PS3 version of that, of that uh, old Ghostbusters game I mentioned earlier. And the Wii ver and like the Wii and PS2 version, just completely different games. Like wholesale, just fucking different. And they're, and like both versions are great, but they only l like remastered the, uh, PS3 version. Effectively saying, yeah, this is the real version. And I think that sucks. Because let me tell you, busting ghosts with motion controls? Ooh boy. Make you feel like a Ghostbuster. Give you a good, give you a good fucking workout. Alright, so if I want to clean that, I'm going to have to jump up here. Is this the one that rotates a little? I'm glad there's no, like, fall damage in this, although it would be really funny if there was. Dude, imagine this with fall damage. Like, actually, that'd be fucking hilarious. Like, you get a game over in, a, in this just because, oh, you fell off. Oh, fuck. Speaking of falling off... I don't think I need the, uh... No, I do. I do. Oh, oh. I don't know what overcame my character there. He, he like, had the big old gamer jumps in him. Here we go. Hang on. E? There we go. And then soon the gutter is going to be done. Bro, fuck off. There we go. There we go. Come on, I just need that little extra bit. Perfect. Yeah, so that's part looking good. Uh, let's see over here. Decidedly not poggers. Get out maximum length. You know, I'm feeling a little silly. Let's get, um, glass clean cleaner in. There we go. Get that taken care of real quick. I'm not sure how I feel about using, like, cleaning fluid in this game. Because it helps. But it also, um, you know, is kind of expensive. I 
are we doing in turn? 18% cleaned, huh? There we go. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's jump up here and see how we want to tackle this. I know. Ah. Uh, so even this nozzle has trouble from uh, this distance, even with the uh, long range add-on. Troublesome. Troublesome and bothersome and bo bothersome and troublesome. Yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Uh, oh, right. The, oh, right. I was talking about Tetsuo the Iron Man earlier. Uh, my favorite part uh, has to be the fact the fucking like weird pegging dream sequence. Uh, if only because it's funny as fuck. Like, conceptually. That this guy... Is, like, in the middle of, like, his body morphing and changing into actual literal metal. And his response is just, I'm going to dream about a woman pegging me. <laughs> like, the movie itself is very abrasive. At least stylistically, and I... I like that. So, like, the way it's, uh, so, like, the way the dream sequence is shot is, like, probably not supposed to be hot, unless the, uh, creator's on, like, you know, that extreme genius level shit. But, like, the fucking intent is there. You can smell it. I don't know how you can smell, like, film, but you can smell it, you know? Hell yeah. Let's level this out. Straightest aim in the West. Alright, here we go. All right, so let's take a little off the bottom. Now we're talking. Let's see if this will take any of this up here off. Really will not. Let's take this off. Just wholesale remove it. Perfect. Yeah, so the reason I had to um start late by by the by is that uh I was playing this earlier and uh a level I was doing took much longer than it anticipated. I will not lie to you, that garden level had hands. So I had to make dinner late. I had pasta for dinner. But I had to make dinner late. And thus I had to have stream late as well. Because I do not want to be eating dinner on stream, at least not often. 
it just feels awkward to do that, you know? Especially if you're subjecting your viewers to, uh, listening to you eat. Or, God forbid, if you're a fucking meat tuber, as I like to call them, uh, you have your fucking face cam on and they have to see your fucking ugly ass eating face. Which is, in fact, much different from your normal face. Like, you can be- you can be the most attractive person in the world, but the second your eating face comes out, oh boy. You know? I don't want to deal with this yet. Let's take care of this. Hang on. Like, I do not believe it is particularly controversial to, uh, come to the conclusion that oftentimes people do not look that great when they are eating. I think that's just a commonly held fact. Like, it's not even like a, you know, shame people for eating thing. It's just like, you know, you, when, your mouth, when your mouth is full of food, I do not think you have the energy to, uh, you know, put all that, like, work into, uh, not looking like some sort of goblin. That's just a simple fact. You're too busy chewing and swallowing and, uh, enjoying life. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, medium length. Here we go. I wonder. Oh, no, that's actually working. Nice. Uh. Oh, yeah. Earlier I said uh, I had decided on what the next, um, cover would be. And I'm very excited to get to it soon. Uh, last night I made plenty of, uh, decent progress on the next, um, Fear and Hunger video. Not enough to really be able to give you a rough cut. But, uh, just enough to be, say, I feel good about it. Like, uh... Some of the people I know, um, off stream, uh, have already seen some choice clips. But it's going to be very funny. I think it, I think, uh, the people who enjoyed the first one are going to enjoy the second one. <sighs> Let me get... Into a comfortable sitting position again. Where, where's my damn coffee? There it is. I grabbed my um, iced tea instead of my coffee. I guess I'm drinking this now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, ah. mm -mm. Nose moment. There we go. Uh. In my free, uh, in my free time, uh, as returning viewers would know, I've been playing, um, Persona 5 Royal. Because it's like, it, they, gave, they gave me two free months of ga uh, Game Pass. And I couldn't get, I just couldn't pass that up. Like, free games for two months? I don't even have to pay anyone. Nice. So I've been playing that. 
And, uh... I finally hit the point where actual new content starts getting introduced. Like, uh... I saw Takuto Muraki. Uh, is it Muraki or Maruki? I don't remember right. I think I might... I, I, those two names are very similar. So it's easy for me to get, like, confused and mixed up. But, uh, the counselor guy... I'm up to the point where he gets, uh, introduced. And no fucking joke, dude reminds me of how, uh, ineffective my own, uh, school counselors were. Like, uh, for reference, uh, in, in real, uh, I am what we in the business call a troubled... I was what we, uh, in the business call a troubled child. Otherwise known as, uh, the FBI's favorite type of person. And I, uh, had to go through the therapy system, as one would. And, uh, spoiler alert, it didn't, it didn't really work out for me. It didn't work. It, I was not helped. But, like, going to school counseling was a thing I had to do. And seeing how, uh, Maruki basically had to bribe, uh, your party members into going was, like, it, like, clicked with me. as like, oh, you know, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. You know, last night it just kind of hit me again. That, um... Instead of, uh... Enjoying my youth... Like, enjoying, quote-unquote, quote the best years of my life... I, uh... I am wasting it. Doing work no one's going to, like, appreciate. And socially isolating myself from others. But I think that's alright. I think that's alright. I'm not owed anything that I'm missing by, by life. And if anything, I would just take from others. So, like, it's fine for me to... It's fine for me to have to, you know, play catch-up when I'm an old man. And I realize far too late that there's something wrong with me. Something I love is that... Those look like orderly squares from the angle I'm standing at, but like, ooh, that one's stretched way the fuck out. I think that's... That's a fun little thing to keep in mind when you're, uh... Like, looking at things from a uh, perspective like that. But like, um... Realistically speaking... Anything I'm missing out on now is not something I deserve to have anyways. Is that an unhealthy way to think? Definitely. Uh, is it too late? Is it too late for me to remedy the fact that I think like that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I know I have friends who, uh, think that it's not too late for me, but no, it is. It is. Like, I am... I am fundamentally just not right. And I see no reason to, like, put up any pretenses that I will ever be able to properly heal. Partially, uh, due to my own fault and partially due to the fact that, uh, the circumstances leading up to the fact that I'm like this were literally just completely out of, uh, my control. Uh, 
how do they know what how do they know what the work I'm doing looks like anyways? Like it, with the back with the backyard mission, I could uh understand cuz like oh maybe they're uh just inside and looking, you know, out at the backyard. But here look it, unless they're like out like cleaning the outside of the house is not something you can see from the inside. It's not something you can see from the inside. So like are they like across the street like sit in you know over at one of their neighbors houses for lunch or whatever but like um i i've grown uh just w completely willing to socially stagnate as long as it means i don't have to uh potentially uh, end up like causing emotional grief to an to another person and if that means i have to uh shoulder my own burdens completely then that's fine that's just the you know consequence uh of my own actions at that point But I don't think that's a healthy way for uh, others to live. Like, uh, like just because I'm, like, you know, broken, unsalvageable... Does not mean I think other people should allow themselves to become broken and unsalvageable. I should expect uh, better things for those who come after me than for those who um, came before me. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. It, it is insane to me that the uh, power wash guy is just a Square Enix character. Like not notable Square Enix characters, you got um Cloud, uh Jack Garland from Final Fantasy Origin, Stranger of Paradise, the greatest game known to man, and you have John Power Wash, the guy who washes things. Who do you think? Who do you think would win, Cloud or Power Wash Man? I like to think that the uh, power wash guy could like clean the clean the the uh, Mako energy right out of Cloud Strife. Just unsoldier him. Yeah, square spiral, hell yeah. And there, there's not a lot left there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I, that, only that and the roof left, huh? Anywhere else? I don't want to look at that. I have to. 
All right. Let's start with a uh, very quick. Yep, here we go. It's always the corner, the corners with these windows. There we go. Yeah, let's cut through that. I like to start with the windows first because they're nice, big, and easy targets. It's hard to miss a window when it looks nothing like the... Um when it looks nothing like the uh, material surrounding it, you know? Hang on. Part of my dinner is trying to escape. Oof. All right, there we go. It's back down. You know, I'm going to look so fucking dumb when things actually do end up getting better at some point. I'm going to look like such a fucking moron when that happens. <laughs> we can we can waste a little bit of this as a treat. Oh, what the fuck? That's insane. Yeah, there we go. Down to down to less than two liters now. How are my children who only eat uh, cleaning fluid going to survive the winter now? God, fucking imagine. Imagine what if what a child who subsists solely on cleaning fluid would look like. Like w weird little cave gnome baby. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. No one's watching, and, uh... Yeah, no one's watching. No one cares. I might as well, uh... I might as well, like, uh, dump my latest, uh... Like, brain worm, you know... My latest, uh, thing that my, like, mind has been doing the, the equivalent of, like, gnawing on all right where's art showcase get the shit out of here we need to we need to put a different one 
So the other day... Oh boy, insane people time. So the other day... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you an exact image that entered my head the other day. With the text, mind you. I... I I specifically made a non-text version for people who want, who, you know, want a normal one. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So the other day, this image uh, invaded my skull like a dark, like a dark spirit, like an evil phantom from the dark soul. And, uh, I've been, like, considering what, like, that, that alternate reality where this is real, uh, would be like. And, and the fucked up thing is, with enough money, I could make this real, but I'm too much of a pussy to find an appropriate voice actress for it. You know? Like, it would be phenomenal. Like, not just for myself, but, you know, for people who would like something like this. And I am too much of a pussy to, like, even consider potentially doing it, given, the, you know, the assumption that I will ever be able to. I also, I also like, genuinely like the work I did on the, um... Hmm. Background. Like, let me uh, get the n n textless version. There you go. Like, if you look closely, there's a little bit of lens uh, lens blur uh, applied to each layer. And it increases as, like, the layer gets further away from the uh, quote-unquote camera, you know? Like, it's surprisingly decent background work, considering my style. Alright, let's get that out of here. I have, all, I have almost an exact list of uh, sounds and noises I would put into that, like, thought out. And I, I'm just waiting for some unscrupulous fucking fiend on Tumblr. To enter my, um, to enter my ask box and say, hey, jackass, what would you put in there? Like, thankfully, uh, I have not been forced uh, by a third party to uh, subject the um, general public to that. But there, there's a chance someone will actually look at the tags on that post and decide to be a little fucker. Just a little bastard. Let's start the let's start the back with the uh, steps. Hang on, there we go. Sorry for swinging the camera around. I uh, had to get the uh, chat back up. I had accidentally silenced you guys. It was like George Orwell's iconic novel, uh, 1987. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. 
Oh man. When I had to get up to make dinner, like I will not lie to you. I'm not going to lie. My legs kind of hurt. I would say my uh, back also hurt, but like that's sort of a given. That's just sort of a given. I have the back of an old man. Of course it started to hurt. It starts hurting when I fucking lean over the wrong way. Uh, you know, the most the most annoying part is not only that, but also the fact that... Oh, whoa, jeesh. See that jump? That wasn't a jump. That was a fucking leap. But, uh, fucking... The fact that no matter what I do, uh, like, you know, what configuration of pillows I have set up on my, uh, on my, um, bed, it always feels like there's just one thing out of place and I can't get my back to rest comfortably when I'm laying down. Awful. Terrible. Who am I going to blame for this? The, the same people I blame for everything on. That's right. The Americans. They killed my crops and fucked my wife and ruined my back. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I appreciate that you can flip it like while you're spraying. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. That was definitely my plan. All right, let's just get in there. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, so recently a, uh, a podcast I, uh, enjoy rather a lot, actually, um, let me tell you about. Uh, they recently got, uh, a, uh, co-host who left the show for personal reasons back on. And it's so fucking good again. It's so fucking good to hear that guy's voice again. Uh, for those who uh, do not listen to good podcasts, you know, shame upon you and your immortal soul. Uh, let me tell you about is a uh, kind of a long running podcast by now, all things considered. Uh, where the primary host, Tad Becker, has a usually has a co host on of some kind. Uh, for the show's best years, it was. Um, his friend Alex. And, you know, they d discuss all sorts of things and, uh, you know, this and that. And it was very fun because they'd, br they'd have weird ass, um, weird, bizarre, to uh, topics like, um, that time one of their other friends got Neopets shut down because, uh, that fella figured out how to launder money as a child or, um, <laughs> Uh, why loot boxes are the, just the fucking worst. And I've been listening to this show since I was, like, actually just in high school, right? Like, literally, I would bust out laughing at this shit while I was in the middle of, like, doing my math. And, uh, a couple years ago, uh, Alex actually left... 
actually left for uh, personal reasons, mainly to go pursue art. And uh, never did find that guy's art account, if one exists. Probably, probably doesn't have one, all things considered. Mm. Fucking really wish. Really, really wish they, uh, re really, really wish, um, Alex would make an art account because I know f I have, like, using my gamer, like, instincts, I can tell that man does great shit. And I want to see it. I want to see what Alex is making. And, uh, I just can't f fuck me, I guess, you know? But uh, yeah, last couple episodes they got uh, Alex back, and it's, it's so fucking good to hear that guy's voice again. I, I believe the the manager posted uh, the manager. Pff, we're in the middle of the off season. I can just say on my personal. I uh, posted a uh, clip from the newest ep episode where they just cold open with some wacky shit. I think it was, uh, hey, do you think Meat and Fuck Kingdom is going to be the kind of shit that gets archived? And I heard that, and I fucking lost my shit. I lost my ass. That, <laughs> that got me going. <laughs> uh Personally, I think a good jumping in point uh, for getting into, um, let me tell you about, would be just listen to the Tales of the Pizza Man, Tales of a Pizza Man, Delivery Man episode. Uh, that's like the episode, that's the episode you're going to want to start with. Because you get a little bit of everything. You get, uh, you know, general gist of what the show's about. And while it's not an Alex episode... It is high quality. It's extremely good. Like you get like you get a good taste of uh what Tad is like and then you get a good taste of uh like the kinds of wacky shit uh you know that just gets talked about without like the high risk of uh jumping directly into an Alex episode. And hearing some shit that, like, is, like, s s extremely, like, kind of edgy. Uh, the, the Pizza Man episode also, uh, fortunately, gets you to, to a point where you hear a story about a guy who says verbatim, I know who did this, and I want them out of my fucking magic mountain. And I think that is a very important uh, experience to have, if only because it's funny as fuck. It's fucking, I know who's behind this, and I want them off my fucking magic mountain. That's some shit a wizard would say. Hell yeah. I see you're falling into my trap of giving you so many little uh, sound buttons to play that uh, it stops you from getting one more billion dollars. I've tricked you. I've deceived you. I'm the Lord of Lies. Hang on. Are you fucking kidding me? Please. Yeah. 
Yeah, here we go. Oh boy, time to do this. Oh, that porch post that porch post was already done. I may be stupid. I may be dumb. I'm I'm tempted to check the next time uh Hollow Live starts um accepting uh auditions. If only because it would be really funny to just get rejected by them again. Like it would be f it would be funny to get accepted, but it'd also be equally as funny to get rejected like again. Like no or like just affirm my suspicion that no organization actually wants to take me in. Here we go. Well, yeah, but they're not real. Sorry to burst your bubble, uh, Barley Parley, but the SCP Foundation isn't real. They're fake. It is a collaborative online horror project. Maybe not for you. Maybe not for my balls. Okay, pants grab. <laughs> Listen, everyone knows. Everyone knows that the anomalous objects on the street are free and you can take them home at your own personal peril. Pretty sure that's how they found Arya. <laughs> they just... They just found her... They just found, like, her in a fucking box on the street. With, with like, free to a good home scribbled on the front. Should I be speaking ill of the dead right now? No. Will I do it anyways? Yes. All right, new Arya upload the other day. I think it was either the other day or yesterday, but like fucking Ultra Kill. I remember when uh, she tried streaming that, and it was a uh, very bit rate, very bit rate. You know, like the most bit rate stream I've ever seen. I still need to take time out of my schedule to, like, actually coordinate a specific date to fucking fight her in Yu-Gi-Oh! so I can get my ass kicked on stream, because it would be funny. I wonder if the video is also going to be very bitrate on her, <laughs> on her part, just as a fucking meme. Ooh, ooh. I just found this post. You're not going to believe this. So apparently the uh, person running the No Contact Super Mario Bros. account uh, has a legitimately fucking cursed evil copy of New Super Mario Bros. on the DS. Where if he plays as Luigi... Uh, they, um,
Uh, they are uh, fucking cannot beat most levels because of immense visual glitching. Their copy fucking hates Luigi, dude. <laughs> Fucking dark Luigi. Oh, I, oh, I'm seeing some spicy drama on the timeline right now. You're going to believe this. So someone who evidently has never actually played Persona 3, or at least didn't read the dialogue, uh, made a post implying that Strega needed a better motivation. And I don't know about you, but uh, seeking retaliation after being fucking experiment experimented on as a child is a very good, motiv uh, a very good motivation for a villain. Like, I don't know about you, but I would be upset if, uh, you know, I, I was like one of only three survivors of a fucking horrifying human experiment, you know? Come on. Yep, here we go. All right. Hell yeah, let's get this taken care of. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I just realized I don't have a schedule for next week picked out. Why don't we sit why don't we sit down together and get that sorted out? I think that'd be fun to just do it on stream, do it live. Fuck it, who cares? Yeah, just enhance the length and girth of my um of my uh cleaner, please. Thank you. All right. Let's get up to that um Oh. Dude, I just fucking flew. I, I, I took to the skies, brother. All right, yeah, let's get a little closer. So you may notice that the um, Fear and Hunger video didn't come out today. Uh, I need more time to work on it. Uh, I did not have the energy in me to edit the entire thing last night, so I need more time to work on it. Uh, if you're disappointed about this development, uh, suck my cock.
who do you think I am? A reaction streamer? You think I'm just gonna put no fucking effort into my content? No. No, no. I could have done the easy thing and just blurred all the penis and uploaded the VOD that way. But no, no, no. I'm doing you a favor by sitting down and dedicating time to editing that video. It'll be ready when it's ready. Uh, what, what is it that the, uh, the spoony one says? It'll be, uh, it, it, it's in the rendering pipeline. <laughs> you know, despite, I'm like a fake, uh, Channel Awesome fan. I don't actually, I haven't actually watched anything by any of those guys. I, all I know are like references I have stolen from Oni Plays. Wrong one. Come on. Yeah, let me just fucking... Come on. I'm getting pissed off now, come on. There we go. Join the party in the fast and easy way. No, no, why am I? Why is the why is the fucking freak phone back in my fucking echo lally of the playlist? <laughs> just sit, just sitting here, and then for no fucking reason, just one nine hundred four nine oh freak. <laughs> Two dollars a call. A friend of mine just fucking recommended Fear and Hunger Termina to a to a streamer who I'm pretty sure doesn't want to get fucking banned. Oh my god! Like I still haven't been banned for um. I still haven't been banned for uh, Fear and Hunger related activities on here, so it's hopeful. But like, dude, uh, fucking Barry's not going to do that. Barry won't. You, 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 brother, you're telling me you think she's going to risk getting banned. That, that, that's fucking crazy talk. Yeah, there we go. Oh, now we're talking. I I appreciate the uh immense detail in like the filth decals in this game. Like this game's really on brand for this channel considering, you know, the, the whole filth meme. Like it fits. It fits. Plus, like, I, I will not lie to you. This game, like, activates something in my autism. This this game activates something within my autism. I'm not going to lie. Right up there with, like, Minecraft and Sonic the Hedgehog.
Fucking okay. Whenever I something that really grinds my gears is like when I'm looking for something very specific to like throw on to fall asleep to, and I get, I get like given like no commentary speed runs of games. And it's like wow, thanks. This is nothing. This this is worthless to me. I'm not looking for this. There we go. I appreciate that the uh, cleaning mode it's on is, uh, I think it's uh, modern or something. Uh, is at least kind enough to wear them um, if you get a part to a certain percentage of, cle of cleanliness. They uh, just automatically poof all the uh, remaining dirt for you. That's very nice. All right, so we're at 77. Most of the gutters are done, actually. Eh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Fucking peep that. Now we just need to finish up the rest of the roof. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You know what? We have the multi-purpose cleaner, might as well use it, you know? Try not to overuse it. Just break down as much as I can. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, the next uh, cover, by the way, will be um, Spring in a Storm by Tally Hall. I'm going to try uh, that thing some people do where they put the lyrics on the screen. Uh, as it goes by. Like, I've seen other VTubers do that. I might as well give it a try, you know? Might be fun. It'll be extra work in, on the editing. But, uh, that uh, editing's what I'm supposed to do, anyways. So, like, who gives a shit, you know? Well, you think I, you think I have another editor? You think I pay someone else to do my job? I'm not made of money here. I'm made of meat and cum. All right, let's get this taken care of. All right, bros. Here comes the hard part. Yeah, there we go. So 
So you'll be an Austrian nobleman Commissioning a symphony in C Defies all earthly description Commissioning a symphony in C With money you, sp you squeeze from the peasants To your nephew you can give it as a present Here we go I've been listening to a lot of Cake lately, but the problem is any song I want to cover by them does not have a good enough instrumental out for me to actually use, which is a problem, because I don't want to have to make my own instrumentals. They sound like shit. If you've listened to my music before, you know it sounds like shit. You know, Roger uses the same Silent Hill drum track over and over again, Cheeto. I, I love getting stuck on things and having to hop around on a roof. It is my favorite pastime. I think if I clear most of this, uh, roof should be fine. Is it roof or roof? I hear people say both. It's like, why are you saying roof? You're not a dog. Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close. Maybe if I work slower. Yeah, the, the problem with this nozzle is that it's wider, yes. But it's also, like, weaker. Then again, I am, like, right up in this... I'm, I am right up in its shit. So maybe I can, you know, get away with just kind of... Yeah, that's actually working. Yeah, now we're talking. Ugh. Man, I got tired in the middle of the day and I should have taken a nap. I really should have taken a nap earlier. If I nap now... If I nap now... I do not believe I will wake up in time to do anything else tonight. Sucks, I wanted to do some more, um... Uh, I wanted to do some art. And again, like, ooh, 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 you know? Oh, yeah. The Tales Gets Trolled um, Twitter account just posted a screenshot of someone getting fucking 
perma banned from a forum for saying for telling someone to fucking go read Homestuck. And you know what? Based. Listen, from someone who read Homestuck, it's not even particularly good. Read something better instead. Like, fuck it. Read Tales Gets Trolled. It's actually phenomenal. If you can get over the fact that it still feels like it was made in 2009, you'll be fine. It's a great fucking film. Uh, no, not, not a great film. A great fucking comic. All right, I need to uh, stop being distracted. We're almost done. We're almost we we've almost finished cleaning. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Yeah, now now we're talking. Thinking about those early Final Fantasy games again. Um, something I kind of always uh, appreciate about the Yoshitaka Amano uh, work for this series is uh, how it really fits like the like whimsical style of the earlier games you like you know before the game before the games got all fucking serious and bad <laughs> like Amino's style Lends itself really well to the like high fantasy wacky nonsense uh, at play in the in those first three games, four maybe. Like ah uh, yes, of course. Why wouldn't a lizard look like that? <laughs> Completely normal lizard. Yeah, here we go. We're almost done here. Ooh. Watch this. It's about to get to the part where I'm on the, uh... Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. One hundred percent. I always try to complete a job to one hundred percent. I feel bad giving a customer bad service, you know. One more job, and then we're uh down the home stretch for uh getting that next power washer. However, you take a look at that timestamp and tell me what time it is. That's right, it's time to start winding down for uh, <clears throat> the next week's schedule. However, since I don't have that schedule planned out, say it's about uh, 
Then it's about time I uh, open up Photoshop, don't you? Ah, ah. Gotta say, my um, oh, oh, that is a nasty sound. I can't fix that creaking. My uh, my fucking camera is very good at low light compensation. Like it's tracking about as well as it does in like full broad daylight. Well, not about as well, just slightly worse, but still very good. Hang on, let me go into uh, Tumblr and re reblog my uh good art from last from the other night. I want everyone to see this. I'm never going to stop uh considering the ramifications of this fucking image that escaped me. Ooh. All right. Yes, open up Photoshop. I know, I know. Oh, fuck. I just remembered. After this, I have to swap over my uh, laundry. I have some uh, pants and towels and the like that, I'm wash that I uh, washed this morning, and I never really swapped them over. I just put them in there again to make sure that they actually, you know, came out damp instead of sopping wet like uh, your mother. And then once those are done drying, I can actually, you know, go and take a shower. I I took like a, I, I, I like sat down and I took a very angry shit. It's not that I was angry while shitting. No, it's that the shit itself was angry. And I feel unclean and I'm go. I really need to take a shower. Not because I'm confirmably unclean, mind you, just because I feel unclean. Why why does the game capture always fucking do this? There we go. I have to smash the 8 button so as to uh make sure that it uh uncaptures. Yep. Ugh, all right. Looks like we're going to be wrapping up uh, a little bit into Monday today, uh, this week. Interesting. All right. So that's 17... 18... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right. Oh, 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 oh. All right. I'm thinking, uh, Soul hackers do. There we go. Uh, my, uh, yeah, my house dot ek three is the is the map file. I want to dive into do a deep dive into that for uh, Doom uh, on Tuesday. I've been seeing uh, VTubers on YouTube doing that a lot, and I kind of want to give it a try. Because uh, the thumbnail gives me a fucking ominous feeling. 
Mind you, the thumbnail is literally just an image of a house. It's the same thumbnail they're all using, putting their dumb little faces over. Well, dumb little faces. That's subjective. Uh, you know what? Yeah, next Wednesday we'll do Final Fantasy VII. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. You know what? Let's put Earthbound there. Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. Oh, dear. I can't decide. Salt and Sanction. No. We're like kind of soft locked in that game, not gonna lie. They also recently released a big old patch. Like a big one. So I think it might be time to restart, put on a new file. You know what? Art? Uh, you know what more more of this on sun on saturday all right yep weekly tip Make sure you are eating well. Malnourishment breeds malcontents. You think that's a that's an exaggeration, but no, you fucking. When you're not eating right, you're not thinking right. And when you're not thinking right, you're not feeling right. And when you're not feeling right, things ain't good. Uh... I, you know, I'll, I'll just set it to just chatting. Actually, no. Even if I wanted to raid in after this, I really don't have enough viewers to justify it. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to wrap up. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, have a... Tomorrow. In a couple of minutes, it's going to be today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Uh, have a good night. Uh, sleep well. Uh, all that nonsense. I'm going to go uh, swap my laundry over and then probably uh, take a mean piss. Uh, this one's for you, bros. See you tomorrow. Bye.